good morning and welcome back to the kitchen. Now, I've told y'all that I'm going to be going on a trip for a couple of weeks and I'm trying to get videos ahead because I can schedule them on YouTube and they'll automatically play each day while I'm gone. So today, um, I'm going to do several things that I want to show y'all and uh, so you're going to probably see my uniform today in three or four videos. But the first thing I'm going to do, a friend called me yesterday, Gail, and told me that she had me some figs picked. And I needed to come get them. Now that's the kind of friend you need. She picks them and washes them and saves them for me. And I so appreciate it. But I took her some of my um, hot dog relish as a thank you. So that was good. But anyway, I'm going to make figs the way Mama and Grandma and Aunt Audrey made them. Now I don't know how everybody else does it, but what we do... They, what they told me to do, and I've done it every time, is get your figs in, in your container and then pour granulated sugar over them till you can't see the figs anymore because it goes down in among them. And you let that set and make some juice overnight in the refrigerator or all day long. I'll probably cook these late this afternoon and come back and show you. And then you just put it on the stove and you cook them down until they are the right color. And it depends on how dark you want yours. I'll, I'll show y'all what I do. I don't have a definite um, temperature, a definite whatever. I just cook them till they look right. So I'm just going to show y'all how I do it. And they are delicious. Now, there's recipes to add strawberry jello and make strawberry figs. And I've done that. But I want just plain figs, because if I decide to make me another fig preserve cake, I want to have my uh, preserves to go in it. So I'm going to put the camera where you can see uh, me doing the sugar thing, and then I'm just going to put them aside, and then I'll be back when it's ready to start cooking. Okay, them. just to give an idea, I uh, measured the figs, and I've got eight cups of whole figs. Some people cut them in half, I just leave them whole. So, because they're going to kind of squash down and <clears throat> come apart some as they're cooked. So, I've measured out four cups of sugar, and I'm going to see how this goes. See, I'm just sprinkling it on, and it's going down in the cracks and crevices. Just kind of cover your figs. And even though they're not totally covered, I think I'm going to say three cups of sugar, and, and I'll see how that goes. I'm not going to completely cover them, but I think that's going to be plenty for that amount of figs. So I've got eight cups of figs, and I've covered them basically with three cups of sugar, and I'm going to let that make juice, and then I'll come back and cook it down into some fig preserves. So that'll give you all some measurements to go by. Okay, y'all, I've just about got my figs ready to put in the jar. See, they're a darker color. My syrup's not quite as thick as I want it, but it'll thicken up some as it cools. And this will make a quart, maybe a quart and a half, and I'm not even going to water bath these. I'm just going to turn them on their head so they'll seal, and we will eat them pretty quickly. But I wanted y'all to see how to do the fig preserves. You just kind of cover them with sugar, let them sit till they make some liquid, and um, cook them down. Okay, y'all, I'm going to get my jar out of the oven, and I'm going to dip my fig preserves over into it. I did add a slice of lemon to put a little bit of acid in it. I like to do that. And again, I'm just telling y'all, this is how I do it. And you can do it however your family has done it through the years or however you want to do it. This is just the way we've done it. And y'all see, let me move my hot jar closer. I hope I don't melt my funnel. My others are packed and I didn't want to go get them out. See, my jar is very hot. And my son is ringing my phone. He'll have to wait a minute. Okay, you want to do your 
vinegar around the top, just like we always do. We want everything clean and clear. And then I've got my lids in hot water here. And I'm going to bring it over here, and I'll show you in a minute. I'm just going to turn it on its head where the heat will be on the ring, and it'll seal good. So I've got one more to do. that when they cool down, they're going to be just the right thickness. I like to have a little syrup, but I don't like it to have a lot of runny syrup. So I could have put this one in a pint, but I went ahead and got two quarts out just, just because. I don't know why. But we'll eat this shortly. Because it takes, a, I think, almost a pint for that cake, and I'll make another fig cake. Okay. Alrighty, let me wipe my top here with my vinegar. These jars are hot. Good and sterile. Get my lid out. Okay, again, I'm going to take it over here and turn it on its head. Okay, y'all, there they are, standing on their head. And I'll leave them on there until they cool. And then when I flip them back over, of course, it'll be sealed. This is how Mom and Grandma always did it. But as I've gotten older, I've started water bathing. Everything that I don't pressure, I generally water bath it. But because this is just this small batch, um, I decided that I would do it this way and we'll just go ahead and eat it. It won't be put up for the duration, but it will be sealed and it will keep. But um, I'm not going to water bath it. But now if I get a bunch more and I'm doing several jars, I will water bath them because I want to put them on the shelf. Okay, to my keep. friends, thank y'all so much for watching. And I hope you like fig preserves and fig preserve cake. Yeah, buddy. This tells you how to make your preserves to go in your cake. So y'all come back tomorrow for another good recipe or tip. And you know the routine. Get some good food on that supper table and have some family time. And treat those kids like you're gonna treat your grandkids someday. Now that means have patience and spoil them. Y'all have a good day. Be blessed. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And please share it so that I can grow this channel up to a thousand plus. I'll appreciate it a whole bunch. And I've got some goodies planned for y'all, so um, come on back and we'll learn some new stuff together.